Okay, so uh, look at these questions here. Um, right, object A and B of masses 1.5 kilogram and 2 kilogram. Okay, maybe we can write it down first. Okay, um, this is a uh, mass, mass, uh, we'll put this as 1, this is 2, all right, 1 and 2. Uh, this is mass 1, uh, 1.5 kilogram, and then mass 2 is um, 2 kilogram, right? Uh, on a small horizontal smooth plane as shown in the figure. Uh, smooth plane, why smooth plane? So that no external force, right? Uh, no, the external force is zero. So, uh, if smooth plane, no friction. Uh, so, this is a closed system, okay? So, we can achieve uh, these two objects as a closed uh, system. Uh, the object A and B is a closed system, right? So, uh, B is at rest, uh, but A move at a constant speed. Yeah, A could move at a constant speed of 4 meters per second towards B. So, maybe we can write, uh, okay, we can put in the information here. Uh, this uh, initial velocity, U1, U1 is uh, 4. Uh, in fact, going to the right is positive 4. Yeah, positive 4. And then, how about B? B is initially not moving, U2 is 0. Uh, U2 is 0. After collision, A move in the opposite direction with a constant speed. Uh, 2 meters per second. Move to the opposite direction. You see, A, he moved in the opposite direction after collision. So, this is... Um, okay, after, co after collisions, A, uh, A uh, move in the opposite directions. Okay? Uh, whereas, B... Okay, I just wrote draw it. Mo A move in the opposite direction. Okay, this one is uh, V1. Okay? Opposite direction. Uh, uh, so, we must put negative because we're moving to the left. Moving to the left, you must put negative sign. Uh, okay? Uh, negative 2. And then, how about B? B move at constant speed towards a vertical wall. He didn't say about the final velocity of the... Of the... What? Of the... B, uh, so it just put as V2, we don't know, we don't know why is it. But we know that B moves to the right. Why B move to the right? Because he said move to the wall. Uh, this is the wall, you see that? This is the wall. Uh, so B, move to the wall. Uh, so move to the right lah, after collision. Okay? And then, after that, uh, the B strikes the wall and the wall exerts an impulse of magnitude 15 newton second on B. So, B, later on, he bang with the wall and the wall, uh, this is important, yeah? Uh, the wall exerts impulse 15 on B. Uh, this is the impulse on B. Uh, not impulse on wall. This is impulse on B. Yeah? Write it down first. This is the impulse that happened on, on uh, B. On B, yeah? On B. Uh, so, impulse, the change of momentum of B. Yeah? So, uh, what's the speed of B after the B has collided with the wall? So, we want to find the... Uh, okay. So, here is an, another process. After A collide with B, A, A collide with B, B later collide with the wall. Uh, B later collide with the wall. So, um, you can say uh, like that. Uh, let me draw out. This is B. Okay. Uh, this is the wall. Okay. Later B uh, collide. Okay. It has the initial velocity. Put as initial velocity. It collide with the wall. And then uh, B move away lah. Uh, B move away uh, with final velocity. Uh, so, alright, uh, this is the second process. So, uh, and then he say the wall exert an impulse 15 on B. So, this is the impulse on B. Uh, see, on B. Uh, so, uh, impulse on B. The, B. the wall push the ball. The wall push the ball. So, this is the one. Uh, this is the impulse. Impulse uh, on B, yeah? on the B, on B, uh, okay. Uh, so, okay, uh, we can write it first, yeah. Uh, so, we have two process here, uh, you see that 
here you can see there is a this is process process number one this is process number two uh, process number one is a collide with b a collide with b process number two is b collide with the wall uh, and one thing we can see from here is the initial initial velocity of the b before hitting the wall this initial velocity is the final velocity after collision with the a ah this u is the same as the v2 here you understand or not this v this u is the same as v2 here so once we get the v2 here we can use it for the u over here ah okay ah, but the question asks for the speed of v after collide with the wall so the questions actually want us to find want us to find this one uh, want us to find this one okay so how to do how to do questions so we do step by step we first we solve the process a first the first part then we do the second part understand or not that's how we do the physics questions let's do the first part okay let's do the first part we do the we use conservation of momentum of linear momentum to do it yeah we do conservation of linear momentum uh, so how to do it uh, it is a uh, uh, m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay uh, so uh, okay so we write it down uh, yeah uh, this is b uh, initial velocity zero so momentum should be zero so this one is zero uh, this one is zero okay uh, so m1 is the ball one yeah so it's 1.5 so this is a 4 okay uh, plus 0 okay uh, and then m1 uh, yeah this is this is 1 this is 2 huh? okay so m1 is a 1.5 after collision uh, after collision a move to the left a move to the left you must put a negative sign you must put a negative yeah because you moved in the opposite direction is it you say a move in the opposite direction so you must put a negative sign uh, if you don't put a negative sign you are doomed yeah you are doomed uh, so negative 2 and then um, plus uh, this mass 2 is 2 kilogram uh, yeah we need to find the v2 uh, we need to find the v2 so what's the answer okay so uh, i got it um, 4.5 uh, it's positive value positive value means move to the right uh, so it's a positive 4.5 uh, meter per second okay so this one is means uh, to the right it moved to the right okay so b is moving to the right okay and we got the answer 4.5 uh, so please write it down this is a uh, 4.5 okay 4.5 to the right uh, so um, uh, we know the final velocity of B after collide with A so the final velocity here become the initial velocity of the B before colliding with the wall so this one also 4.5 and say not uh, 4.5 so do the process number two process number two we use the impulse to find the impulse okay impulse uh, okay impulse this is impulse on b uh, impulse on b uh, this is important uh, impulse on b so this one is the change of momentum on b change of momentum on on b not on the wall uh, on the on the sorry on the on the ball on the ball b uh, change of momentum on the ball ball b so we use the final momentum minus initial momentum but this is all about b understand so uh, and then uh, we use uh, mv minus mu and then mv minus u uh, all of it on b we use a mass of b we use final velocity of b we use the initial velocity of b uh, not not about the wall but about b because impulse on b understand so uh, mass of b is uh, just now mass of b is what mass of b is uh, two kilogram yeah 
mass of B is 2 kilograms. So just put in the mass of come on, come on. Mass of B is 2 kilograms. So ah we need to find the VB, isn't it? Initial velocity we have already just now. UB is uh 4.5. Ah uh, 4.5 we carry from the process before. So that's 4.5, 4.5. Uh, okay, and the impulse we got is uh, the impulse we got 15. You see, 15, but is it positive 15? Ah, be careful. The wall pushed the ball, well, wall pushed the ball to the left. So, the impulse you sh impulse on B, you should put uh, negative 15 instead of 15. If you put 15, wrong. Uh, because impulse on B is to the left. Uh, you should put a negative 15. Uh, many students just put 15, then they're wrong. Then they're wrong. Yeah? Because you need to see the wall push the ball. Yeah? The wall is at the right hand side. It pushed the ball to the left. It pushed the ball to the left. So, uh, the impulse should be negative. Impulse should be negative. Push the ball to the left. Uh, so, you should put a negative sign. Many students missing the negative sign. Yeah? Many students miss, missing the negative sign. Uh, many students missing the negative sign. Then, they are wrong. Uh, many students just put positive 15 because the question give positive 15. Then, they just put positive 15. Then, they are wrong because they are missing the negative sign. They should know that. They should know that this is impulse on the ball. Impulse on the ball is a wall push the ball. Wall push the ball must push to the left, never push to the right. Okay, it didn't. The wall doesn't suck in the ball. Yeah, the wall push away the ball to the left. Uh, so it must be negative. To the left is negative. Uh, okay. So I hope it's clear enough. So VB is. So let's calculate. Yeah. Okay. So the answer is uh negative negative three negative three. A uh, negative three meter per second. So what is the negative here means? Ah, uh, so it is. It means that it is moving to the left. You should say the direction also. Ah, uh, so the negative means uh, the ball is moving to the left. If you don't give the don't give the direction, uh, you lose mark also. Ah, uh, lose marks. Ah, uh, so it's negative three. Yeah, correct because uh in. Uh, the 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 ball rebound. You see, the ball rebound you see? after collision with the wall. The ball rebound to the left. So this velocity should be negative. Okay. Uh, this velocity, you VB should get negative negative three. Uh, it's correct because uh, the ball now moved to the left. Yeah, move to the left. So is it correct? Yes. Answer is negative three. Uh, ne neg negative 3 negative 3 that's correct okay that's it for these questions subscribe if you like